Mental Health Awareness Week. Here's what the team at Fitronics think about mental health. Hi, I'm Daniel Hayward, the Managing Director of Fitronics. I'm Mark Jones, and I'm the Customer Experience Manager at Fitronics. Hello, I'm Connor, and I'm a Sales Account Manager here at Fitronics. Hi, I'm Ravinda Sandhu, and I'm the Marketing Manager here at Fitronics. My name is Jake, and I work in Second Line Support here at Fitronics. Mental health means to me two things, really. One, in a positive aspect um, of glory, winning, doing well, success, and I love that um, feeling that comes with that. And then there's the kind of more negative side that is associated with stress, and I have coping mechanisms for both to get me through life, both at work and out of life. And therefore, it's about striking a balance and knowing how to manage my mental health to succeed and keep a happy life. Mental health is to do with the brain, brain controls how you think and how you feel and that controls how your emotions are and that controls your mental state so your mental health is affected by your brain and your brain health and what you think and what you feel. What does mental health mean to me? So um, mental health is having a positive mind state, my ability to handle stress particularly at work and to maintain good relationships with my friends, my family and my work colleagues. Mental health for me means um, keeping a clear head and a clear mind so I'm able to make um, better decisions in life and work in general um, and staying as positive as possible. Mental health to me is not getting bogged down with things outside of your control and understanding that things happen whether you're involved or not and it's how you deal with those things and don't succumb to those pressures. How do I prioritise my mental health at work? Um, there's a number of things that I do. The biggest thing that I do on a regular basis is I commute to work via um, my bike. So I have an exercise on the way to work and I have an exercise um, pattern on the way home from work and that really helps me decompress, think, reflect. And by the time I've got home from work, I've switched off and able to have a happy, enjoyable evening. For me, one of the most important things is my team, uh, my team's mental health, so I prioritise meeting with them on a weekly basis just to check in, see how they're doing outside of work and how they're feeling generally, how can I help. For myself personally, um, I've got a coaching background, so I do a lot of work myself, personal development around how I think and how I feel and my own mental health and physical activity. So what's important to me is making sure that I take time in my day to get away from the desk and get outside. So quite often I'll go walking with my dog, here he is, um, or I go to the gym on my lunch break and just generally make sure I do some sort of activity to um, yeah, keep, keep myself active and I find that that really helps with my mental state. I prioritise my mental health and wellbeing at work by taking regular breaks, so when I do take a break I like to go for a walk and get some fresh air. I try to socialise with my colleagues um, on Teams when I can, um, just to take a break away from, I guess, stressful projects. Uh, to prioritise mental health, I guess I try not to get too overwhelmed. Um, I think it's understanding that I'm only one person that can only do so much and trying to overwork myself just isn't, isn't good for my own mental health. I think staying hydrated, um, trying to get fresh air, getting a walk every 20-30 minutes if you can is important. Having, making the environment fun, I think having that element of fun, everyone needs that. I think it's okay to be silly sometimes and just try and enjoy what you do. So being part of the Jonas Software Group um, allows us to work with our HR team in learning and development and one of the items we've introduced in the last couple of years is for all people managers to be first aid at work, um, mental health first aid at work qualified um, and that, that is a key strategy for us to highlight team members that may need additional support a little bit of support or lots of support to help them manage their mental health whilst at work and also all of the things that happen outside of work for them as well. I'm a qualified coach so I've got some techniques, some psychological techniques that I use to help me control my beliefs which help me to think and feel more positive. I also think that physical activity is an important part of that 
and getting some downtime and some release time and some thinking time. So going out for a run, going on a bike, going for a swim, those are all things that I find really useful. A stress management technique that I find extremely useful for me and I guess I've had this part of my life since I was about 18, uh, but I like to stay active and go to the gym. I just have to make sure that I move my body at least once a day um, to, to have a clear mind really and to de-stress. Some of the stress management techniques that I've used, I guess, is talking to people. I think it's, it's not good bottling things up if you've got uh, apprehensions or anxieties about things. Talking to people is probably the best thing you can do because, as they say, a problem shared is a problem halved. If I had one piece of advice for anyone around their mental health, I think it were about thinking about your thoughts and your feelings, and thinking about what's really important to you as a person and what you want to achieve and what you want to get out of life. If you're struggling with mental health, I think one important piece of advice for, for men especially is just to talk. I think it's important to talk. I think there's a stigma around men being able to talk about their feelings and it's somehow not masculine or it's, it's, it's emasculating. So I think for men out there especially, just talk about how you're feeling because what's the worst that can come out of that? So we chose Bath Mind as part of our charity of the year for a number of reasons. We actually, in terms of the process, we put it to our team to nominate charities that we could then vote on. Um, we had five or six that the team nominated, all fantastic charities and causes. But when put to the vote, the team, um, I think it was around 75% of the vote, all chose for Bath Mind as our 2023 Charity of the Year. Um, we're based in Bath, um, so an, and a majority of the team are, uh, live in and around the Bath Bristol area, so have either um, been part of the Bath Mind programs or know people that have been involved with them. So there's a real kind of local connection to such a great um, cause, which is just fantastic. And we've we have a great relationship with the charity. They've provided a number of different services to us, um, with us here at the office, but also for for team members working from home. So we're very proud to work with them. Um, and hopefully we can raise lots of money for them and the, the great stuff that they do. Yeah. Not too shiny, am I? No. <laughs> um, but... <coughs> oh. What's your question? <laughs> you think I do? That's not answering the question, is it? I just feel like I'm waffling. I also like having a bath. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see your thumbs here from this. Definitely gonna hear that in the background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I reckon I should have said about the dog in that bit. Um, oh my god. <laughs> I'm Mark Jones and I'm the blah 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 Fitronics. Um, I'm Mark Jones and blah 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 from Fitronics. No, I'm more, no, 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 go back again. Hello. I mean, you are covering one of the bus, the buckets. Do you want to move in that way a little bit? When you sat in the seat where you told me to sit, uh, I'll probably do that again.